Apex Instruments encourages you to use or perform any maintenance on this equipment safely. In this video, we may show an icon that conveys a safety hazard or risk that is associated with the operations performed. Be mindful of inherent hazards such as pinch points, sharp objects, or shock injuries. Hey, I'm Joe Thompson with Apex Instruments Technical Service Group. I'm going to show you the components that make up the XC-53. At the top left, we have our probe and our oven temperature controllers. Below these, we have our power switches. We have our main power switch, pump, probe, oven, and auxiliary power switches as well. Moving down, we have a vacuum gauge and our six-channel thermocouple switch. These channels include auxiliary, stack, probe, oven, exit, and meter. Below this, we have our quick connects for a booster pump. This is an optional feature, so not all consoles will have this. This allows you to put a booster pump in addition to the pump in the console to allow you to have more flow if needed. Beside this, we have our sample inlet and our quick connects for our positive and negative pitot lines. On models without the optional booster pump quick connects, our pitots would be in the place of them. Below our quick connects, we have our power supply inlet, our pump power supply, and an industrial grade power connector. We also have a main reset switch, our fine flow control valve, and our coarse flow control valve. On the bottom right of the console, we have our thermocouple inlets. And above this, we have our calibration results table. Moving up, we have an analog dry gas meter display. Further up on this console, we have buttons. In models moving forward, membrane switches will be in the place of these buttons. These membrane switches have lower maintenance and are more reliable than the buttons, so these are replaced. And here at the top right, we have our LCD display and our contrast adjustment that adjusts the contrast of the display.